Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for uh, j the week of July 17th. We're just going to jump right in here. And you have this uh, conflict card. It says you might find yourself having personality co uh, clashes. You're not willing to fight for whatever it is that you are wanting. You have this teacher card. It says teach what you know, even if you aren't an ex expert. You have the ability to help others uncover their true potential. So yeah, I mean, they say that teaching something is like the best way to learn it. So uh, some of you could be uh, teaching something or showing off here with the three of pentacles. I kind of feel like this card here, this conflict card is saying, um, you know, ignore other people. Don't worry about what people are saying about you or, <laughs> you know, any of that stuff. Gemini, you know, I, I think that if you focus on that, you're just going to attract a lot more of it. Um, and look, you have this beginner syndrome card as well. So I feel that you know more than you think you know. And I also feel like you know more than enough other people as well. I think that people need to realize that it's like, you know, even if you're not an, a total expert on something, there are probably people who are at a level that, where they know nothing about, you know, whatever you know. And I know that was a mouthful, but, you know, I feel this is saying there will always be people who need the information that you have. So if you're thinking about teaching or sharing your information or uh, helping people in any way, you know, I would just do it because, you know, like I said, I feel like you have a lot more than you realize or you're like a lot more, you know, important or valuable to people than you realize. So I would get going with something uh, that you're like wanting to teach or share with the world here. And look, I feel there's a lot of positive attention coming in for you as well. Uh, you have the Three of Pentacles. That didn't work at all. But um, the Three of Pentacles says teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, so for some of you, I feel this could be about working together with other people as well. Uh, you do go like this. You go uh, three of swords to the star. So some of you, it's like you could be healing from a heartbreak, but I, I don't understand this right here. You have the king and queen of cups, which is like divine counterparts. So, you know, there could be love coming in for you. This could just be something maybe that you need to forgive to, so that you can allow a person into your life. And, you know, I definitely feel that energy here where, you know, if you've been heartbroken in the past uh, that you need to, uh, heal from that or forgive the situation so that someone new can come in, obviously. Um, it could be a fire sign, by the way. And I would say with these two here, it's going to be a very loving, uh, you know, deep connection. The King of Cups also sometimes, not always, but sometimes I feel he is the card of the home. So sometimes I feel that uh, he can represent, um, you know, like moving or traveling. And it is funny because you have this movement card coming up uh, in the area of the unexpected. So some of you could be moving. Uh, you have the Queen of Cups. I feel like you need to follow your heart. Again, she has that cup there. kind of looks like a trophy. I always say that she's really, she really values what she feels. You know, she values her feelings. She values what her heart is telling her to do. And that's exactly what I feel you need to do is I feel like you need to move, like focus on your heart. And you have that Three of Swords, which says maybe some of you need to heal your heart or forgive a per past person uh, so that you can focus on your heart in the first place. So I'm wondering if like you're uh, maybe a conflict with a past person is be a little distracting or maybe it's not even a conflict. Maybe you're just not talking to this person anymore or um Maybe it was just a breakup or whatever, and it could be still distracting you. So I feel this is something that either needs to be healed or forgiven or whatever. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Page of Cups. Definitely new love. Again, and, and th this could also be saying that there's a person who wants to work together with you, um, but I feel that you need to realize um, that you have to let go of the past person, right? I, I also feel just intuitively, if this, you know, with this past person here, if you ha are dealing with a past person or if you're feeling consumed, I don't think they did much <laughs> is what I'm getting. It's like, it's funny because I didn't realize like how many people have been dealing with this situation over like the past years, you know, a couple of years or so. It seems to me like there was like a collective energy of getting with a person who just does nothing, basically. Um, but, you know, again, my problem with that is a sunk cost fallacy. If you, you know, are giving a person a lot of energy, they immediately become more valuable. You know, it's, it's scientifically proven in your mind, right? So if you're giving, 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 and they're giving you nothing, then your brain is like, oh, I give this person so much, so I must really love them. It's like, no, they're just a, a slug leech that steals energy. They're basically a parasite. And because you've given them so much, you think they're more valuable than they actually are. You think you love them more than you do. So I feel like some of you need to get out of that. Now with the King of Cups, yes. Here's the thing. This is like total teamwork. So again, if you're attracting a new person, I feel it's a person who gives equally. And also, here's the other thing as well, is Three of Pentacles kind of represents a common goal 
you know, represents someone where, you know, you don't have to agree on everything, obviously, with a person. It's not saying you're exactly the same as each other. But what it does say is that you have a common goal or, you know, you have some common ideas that you would like to see in a relationship or, you know, even if it's, this could be like a business partner as well, take it how it resonates. It's like there's some common ground that you are working towards together. And again, I feel like it's funny because normally my first row here kind of, you know, I use a loose spread is what I call it. I just basically read whatever comes up. I don't try to force the rows to fit, but usually my first row kind of represents the past energy. But in this situation, I kind of feel like it's something that's coming in for you, or maybe, you know, you could have this person in, in your energy already if it's a person. With the Queen of Cups, you have the Temperance card, which you have twice. I feel like you've been very patient to like get what you want. But again, you have Temperance here, Temperance here going to here and here. Uh, so Temperance is about turning one thing into another. So I kind of feel like you need to turn any past heartbreaks. And again, it doesn't have to be love. Could be like a business idea that didn't work. I feel like you need to turn that into success, basically. Uh, you have this beginner syndrome card. It says dreading the beginner phase stops you from getting to a higher level. Could even be being a beginner with a new person. It's like sometimes, again, I think we don't move on or we, you know, I, I always say that we have a bad habit, all of us humans, right? Right? We have a bad habit of picking the same type of person uh, that we went to. And that's usually why it doesn't work because it's exactly the same type of person. But we pick the same type of person because we know what we're going to get. <laughs> so this is basically, to me, this is saying break out of a comfort zone. You have this unexpected lead card. It says a sudden turn of events. Surprise, shocking, unavoidable. Don't make hasty decisions. A lot of people have had some cards that kind of say, hey, don't you know rush your decisions. Don't make hasty decisions make sure you're thinking things through, but there could be a positive turn of events here. Again, in the area of the unexpected, you have that movement card, which would tell me there could be a move or some movement coming in for you after you know something unexpected. You have the temperance card, the three of swords and the three of wands. Again, I think this is pretty simple. I feel that you're just turning a situation around. Um, you know, you're turning your pain into success or uh, you know, you're forgiving a situation so that you can create success. And, you know, the temperance card is all about patience. I feel like you have been very patient. I, I feel like this healing has taken longer than you would have liked it to as well. Some of you might be saying, I like wondering if you're crazy <laughs> is what I'm getting here. You might be like, God damn, I like, uh, you know, I've spent so much time worrying about this past person or whatever, if it's a past person, or maybe you had a business failure. Or, you know, I feel like you feel it's taken longer than you wanted. But again, I kind of feel you're moving past it. Three of Swords is temporary. It's raining on the Three of Swords and it doesn't rain forever. So, you know, it kind of represents a temporary energy that you could be dealing with. And I do feel you're kind of moving past it. You have the Three of Wands here, Three of Wands card of expansion and growth. So, you know, I do feel like there is a lot of growth coming in for you with the Three of Wands. I kind of feel like you need to focus on bigger dreams here, going this way here with the Seven of Cups. You know, if you have a past person, I feel like you need to realize, it, like, I feel if you look at them, they're staying in the same space. You know, they're, they're occupying, you know, the words that are popping into my head is they are occupying the same space. I feel like there's no growth. There's nothing changing about them, right? They're just staying where they are. You might even notice, you know, I also have here that you could be dealing with a person who just, they repeat the same cycle over and over and over again. And sorry, my eye is itching like crazy, but, um, you know, I feel like you're seeing, it's almost triggering something in you where you're like looking at them saying like, oh my God, they just re repeat the same thing over and over and over again. And uh, this could be waking you up and breaking you out of the cycle as well. Uh, definitely popping into my head. I don't know, your reading is like pouring through me today. Uh, with the temperance card, you have the three of wands. Three of wands says like, what are you waiting for? Going this way, you could easily move towards your happiness a lot faster than you think. You know, the seven of cups is a little bit of overthinking. You know, he's looking at those seven cups and he's kind of seeing all the good things. He's seeing all the bad things, but you know, good things or bad things will always happen no matter what we do. The trick with the seven of cups is to pick a cup and make it happen. You know, he's got the, he's spoiled for choice. He's got all these options, and but he has to find out. And again, I, I find that a lot of people, you know, seven of cups comes up like crazy nowadays and in readings. And I, I, I feel that people are stuck in the seven of cups thinking, oh, I want to start this business, but then this could happen. This could happen, you know, good things, bad things. And really, um, you know, I think it's a, a trick. We're getting caught in the fantasy. Neptune and Pisces, you know, we have Neptune and Pisces. It's retrograding. So now might be a good time to start working towards something that you feel is a fantasy or just a big dream, right? That you aren't sure if it's going to become real or not. Now might be the time to ground it in reality because again, Neptune's retrograde. But the, again, the problem with Neptune and Pisces is I personally believe we just get too caught up in that fantasy. It's like, you know, we... we 
uh, you know, we almost don't want to ruin the fantasy that we have in our head. So we just think, oh, if I don't get started, then I'll just I'll just be able to keep mentally thinking about this. You know, it's mental masturbation, basically. So, you know, I think people need to break free from that and actually take action and not just get caught up in the fantasy. And with the Three of Swords, you have the uh, Ace of Cups. Definitely new love after heartbreak coming in for you. This is like true love. I'm wondering, you know, this heartbreak could have happened a year ago or, or longer, you know? And maybe it's taking you a long time to get over it, but I almost feel there's a person here who's coming in that's going to uh, kind of change your opinion on love or something like that I'm getting. With the Three of Wands, you have the Nine of Cups. Yes, total wish fulfillment. You need to move towards wish fulfillment going this way. You know, Six of Cups can be a person from the past, but I don't really read it that way, number one. Number two, uh, you know, to me, it's a gift from the universe, and it could be any gift. It could be anything. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this come to life card and this movement card. I feel like you could be uh, bringing something to life. Uh, I also feel like you could be dimensionalizing something. Again, when some, when we have something just existing above our heads, seven of cups, it's we're not adding any dimension to it. It's just existing in the, the flat plane of our imagination. So when we start taking moves towards it, you know, a goal, wish, or dream. When we, even when we take those tiny little steps, then we add real feeling to it because we're actually doing something uh, to make it a reality. And, you know, I feel if you're not doing that, you need to. <laughs> I literally feel you need to add movement to a dream that you have, whatever it is. I don't care. It could be starting a business. It could be maybe you want to go see the polar bears. I don't care what you want to do. I would just start taking those tiny little steps uh, to make it happen because once you start moving, I feel like you will be unstoppable. Once you start moving, it you know the universe is going to just get out of the way and push you towards the thing that you want. So I really do feel this is talking about literal movement as in adding animation to the things that you are working on or whatever you want to create here. You have the Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the Star card. Again, the star says that what's possible for one person is possible for you. She's pouring this water here from the pool of universal consciousness onto the ground, and it kind of represents what's possible for one person is possible for everyone. So, you know, if you're wondering if you can do something, if someone's done it, you can do it. Plain and simple. Might not be easy. It might require work, but, uh, you know, it's definitely possible if you just get started. We've talked about this already, but, you know, I really feel you just need to pick a kind of like pick a cup and make it happen here. Something exists too much in the dream world. Um, you know, I feel like something is just a fantasy. I feel like you need to make it a reality. It uh, is what I would say. For some of you, it could be a person. You know, we have the Six of Cups, Knight of Wands here. Knight of Wands is, is just okay usually, but he is showing up in the good stuff. So I do feel this is something good. Definitely could be a fire sign, obviously. I mean, you know, Knight of Wands and the uh, sun could also just be a person who has water in their chart or fire on their chart, but I was saying water because you have the queen and king of cups over here. I'm not so sure that's a water sign though. It could be. Um, you know, again, I, I feel more fire, but it could just be a person who's fiery or who has fire on their chart. And, um, you know, what I would say here is it could be a person who gets a lot of attention with the sun and the star. You know, the star and the sun together is fame and fortune. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's someone famous. It just means that uh, you could be attracting a person who gets a lot of attention. But, um, you know, as I always say, it doesn't matter if they get a lot of attention, if they only, if they don't pay attention to it, right? Uh, you have the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know. I just feel like your resource is increasing. I don't feel much here. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I just don't feel very connected to her in your reading. I feel that I mean, other than the fact that, again, it's not a bad thing. I think she's just kind of like saying, oh, you know, hey, your resources are increasing. It just doesn't feel like that big of a deal for whatever reason. So uh, let's clarify this and see. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the star. Yes. Could be a Capricorn as well or a person with Capricorn on their chart. But you have the star twice could be an Aquarius as well. But I also feel that the star is a dream and that you need to start, you know, working towards. With the seven of cups, you have the two of cups. Yeah, this is definitely a fan. Like this could be a love fantasy. You might you might have your eye on a person here, Gemini. And, you know, I feel this is saying you need to make it a reality because right now it just doesn't exist. And, you know, this could mean flirting. Um, you know, it could mean if they ask you out on a date, you actually say yes. I cannot tell you. Back in the day when I used to do readings, I don't know what it is, but I cannot tell you how many readings I did where people would be like, I, a person that I liked asked me out and I said no. Are they going to ask me out again? I'm like, no. Why, why did you say no? I don't under, I don't understand. So don't be one of those people, right? And, um, but, you know, that's what I'll say there. I don't know. I felt like I needed to say that, by the way. So if, some, if someone you like asks you out, you just say yes. Again, this person will not ask you out again if you say no. So, Again, don't take that risk is what I'm going to say. 
With the uh, star card, you have the Empress. Someone finds you very attractive. <laughs> Yo, this could be you here, Gemini. It doesn't matter what gender you are either. I feel you could just be getting a lot of attention. People could be wa wanting to shower you with attention, pay attention to you. It's like all those things are kind of popping into my head here. So, you know, I really feel there could be a lot of like happiness and joy coming in because you know, you're getting positive attention. It doesn't even have to be in love. You know, this could be in work. It could be in business. I always tell people as well, when you get something like this, I would be trying to get as much attention as I possibly could if this were my reading. Because this basically says, you know, tarot isn't magic. I always say it's like, this is just energy that you have to work with. So if you want to raise a promotion, get more positive attention at work. If you want love, go out in public. If you want to grow your business, get as much attention as you possibly can. Start sharing more on social media for your business. Start, start a social media, start a YouTube channel. You know, now is the time, clearly, based off of all this. So, you know, I would get moving. Uh, next, uh, in the area of the good stuff, you have this card. It says, underneath the, the lizard's skin. That is, a, I can't say that for some reason. Uh, uh, then you have this one that says, when you're neither here nor there. <laughs> Yeah, that's that that's that's Gemini's middle name right there. When you're neither here nor there, right? Uh, that is such a Gemini card. But I feel for a lot of you, uh, you know, lizards are attached to the uh, dream world, and they kind of represent dream energy and needing to not give up on a dream. So I feel like you need to keep pushing. And I also feel for some of you that this actually is a full commitment. Some of you, I feel, could be making a full commitment to a person. You have the Six of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Sun. So definitely a lot of joy and happiness coming in for you. I feel like this is your emotions overflowing as well. I feel like you're kind of, um, you know, just having a good week this week or there's just more happiness coming in for you. Uh, I would encourage you to go on adventures as well with the Knight of Wands. You know, to me, the Knight of Wands on a personal level, like when it, if it just shows up for our own personal energy, it encourages in adventure. You know, he's willing to build things as well. He doesn't, you know, with the Seven of Cups, he might have this big goal, wish, or dream for his life, and he just starts working on it. He doesn't care how he gets there. He's just willing to be spontaneous. He's willing to try new things. He's willing to explore, experiment, and do all that other stuff, and I feel like that's what you need to do here is like be willing to try different ways of getting somewhere uh, and be willing to build. Uh, you have the Six of Cups. Again, if you are attracting love, I feel you could be attracting a true soulmate. Again, Six of Cups, I know everyone reads it as a past coming back. I do not. Uh, there are plenty of books um, on tarot that basically say, do not go back to the past with the Six of Cups. Uh, to me, it can just represent a soulmate. I almost feel there's like a divinely guided connection. I'm telling you right now, if you're interested in a person as well, like at work or um, part of your friend group, whenever I have something like the Knight of Wands, to me, it can represent your friend group. It could be anywhere, but you know, what I would say is I feel like this person is also interested in you. I don't know. I just see you like looking at a person being like, there's no way they would be interested in me. But I do feel if you have a person like that, I feel like they would be interested in you. So, you know, don't be afraid to flirt or do whatever you got to do, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, with the Six of Cups, yeah, are you kidding? You have the Ten of Pentacles, everything you want and desire in life. Ten of Pentacles is the tree of life. Again, represents everything you want and desire in life, kind of. So, you know, I do feel there's a lot of abundance and just good things coming in for you here. Uh, with the uh, Knight of Wands, you have the Two of Wands taking the lead. Knight, two of Wands is about taking the lead. It's about kind of leaving a comfort zone and really going for something. He's kind of standing where he has always been. I see this a lot right now. I do feel this is more of a collective energy that as a collective, we are all dealing with this type of thing right here where it's like, I think we're all at a certain level and the universe is like encouraging everyone to leave that level and go to the next level. I know that sounds stupid, but <laughs> you know, it is what it is. We have to leave comfort zones to get to that next level. The, the universe is basically encouraging growth. And, you know, I think the universe wants us to overcome things as well. And it, it's like, there are a lot of problems in the world. So I feel like the universe is like, okay, well, you, you, you are the ones that are gonna make things better. I think what people don't realize with Pluto and Aquarius, it's like, yes, Pluto and Aquarius is the collective, but the solutions are going to come from the individual that benefits the collective. So again, I keep telling people, like if you have any solutions for for the world, if you have any solutions for just a couple of people in your life or whatever, uh, don't be afraid to take the risk with the two wands and you know explore those solutions or share those ideas or whatever. Uh, with the sun card, you have the six wands. Didn't you have this already? Am I make, I'm making that up. <laughs> I thought I saw the six of wands here for some reason. I, I, and now I'm going crazy. But, uh, you know, definitely success coming in for you and attention again. You know, another card of attention. Normally there's this guy on the horse 
and he's being celebrated. So, you know, I feel like you will be celebrated uh, here for like work or in business. We're gonna pull five main themes now. Yeah, damn, you have this exaltation card. This card of being lifted up, of getting positive attention. It's like you are being exalted. So definitely a very good week for you this week, Gemini. You have this versatility card, Knight of Wands. Uh, Knight of Wands is about being versatile. This versatility card is about being versatile. You know, this is the Sun in Gemini, by the way, this card. So, you know, any of your crazy ideas or if you think you're moving in one direction on a project and you change direction, that's probably a good thing. You have this indecision card. Yeah, typical Gemini, right? I'm a Gemini moon. I totally get it. I can't make up my mind. And I'm a Pisces. So it's like, I can't make up my mind. And I'm an Aquarius rising. I can't make up my mind to save my life, right? So, <laughs> you know, what I would say here is, you know, this card here is Venus and Libra. And it basically just says, uh, you know, if you have a hard time making a decision, where do you get your energy back? If you put energy into something, are you getting something out of it? If the answer is yes, it's probably the choice that you should make. Uh, next, you have this Harmony card, Sun in Libra. Um, so definitely a lot of happiness coming in for you. We saw th this with the Sun and the Star. And uh, you have the Decision card as well. I kind of do feel some of you could be agonizing a decision. And it's like once you make the decision, I feel like you're going to be like, wow, that, I made that a way bigger deal than I actually needed to. So if you're trying to make a choice right now on anything, I would just make the choice because like once you get on the other side, I think you're going to be like, wow, I made, that, I, I made that a way bigger issue than it needed to be, whatever it is. So uh, there you go, Gemini. This looks pretty good. I like where it's going. So uh, thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.